Okay, so I guess I should get this part on, on camera because just to see what I've done to get, <laughs> you know, I didn't just magically learn what the information is going to be. What I've done so far is I, I've gone to the React OS website and I found a download of actually a hard, uh, of a virtual hard disk with React OS on it and set up for box. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look. It's downloading now. It's only 11 megabytes, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at the BoxRC file and try to see what it is that's different between that one and mine. I'd rather set it up on my own than because you don't know, you know, the, the BoxRC file that's in there. Assuming there is one, may have a different location for the ROM image, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I double click on that, and let's see if I got now. It may need its own BIOS and everything else, so, um, FreeDOS, what the heck, <laughs> is there a BoxRC file, yes, there it is, let's see if I can, okay, so it's saying that, I have a VGA, a K, the IPS is down to 1, 2, 3, 10,000. 10, so where are my IPS? I've got that. No, it's still a million. I've only got 200,000. So it wants. they think I should do five times more. Okay, I'll do five times more. Uh, the mouse, I'm not going to enable the mouse yet. They have not enabled the. Uh, New hardware drive support. I don't even know what version of box they're using here. Um, are they using the same VGA BIOS address? No, so I don't know. Could it just be that I didn't have enough IPS to run this thing? Maybe so. Let's check it out. All right, so that's just a couple clues. If I get desperate, I'll just use their hard disk. <laughs> Alrighty, Alrighty. Well, let's start this again. Now I'm going to press. Now see here, it's green. Wow, that is fast. I mean, could it. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. Now I didn't get that far before. Okay, so now it's saying, where am I? And I'm going to say, I'm. And what language do I use? I'm going to say, I'm English. Using English from the United States. I remember this. I'm going to press enter. Oh god, what a copy of god. This is such is like a copy of Windows Windows NT. Okay, um I'm going to press enter to install. The following limitations apply. Setup cannot handle more than one primary partition per disk. Okay. I don't. I have one disk. Setup cannot delete a primary partition from a disk. I don't have one yet. Setup cannot delete the first... Okay, I'm just going to keep going. And I am going to accept it. And I'm going to use the partition space. And it is a fat file system, so I will be able to... My god. <laughs> that was a fast format, okay. Uh, and I'll go ahead and do that. I'll let it copy the file. This looks exactly like, with the exception of those things in the bottom, it's almost like a carbon copy of what you get out of, uh, of Windows so far. Uh, I, I remember doing some Windows install somewhere, some version that looks exactly like this. But it's not going to work exactly the same. Obviously, the hardware support is not there for one, and for two, so the IPS was the thing. I didn't have enough um, simulated CPU power to actually install this thing. Right, there we go, and we're off. Still copying files, and hopefully I have enough space. But as far as I know, React OS, you know, the disk image they wanted to give me on the download was 11 megabytes. I don't think 
that uh, my CD has much more than that for the React OS CD-ROM image. I also could have installed from the CD-ROM image if I didn't use dev CD-ROM. If I instead used the name of the CD-ROM image. Okay, so far, and looking up here, we've got no mouse, no floppies. I could have floppies if I want, even though I don't have a floppy spot on this. Um, by making floppy images. VX image works great for that. It tells you everything you need to know and it's quick. It's a very good utility for that. In fact, when I'm done with this, I'm going to, since it's a fat file system, and hopefully it's not fat 16, but I still don't think it's going to be a problem, I'm going to mount the disk image so you can see what's in there. Um, after this, this is this is done. So why is this taking so? I should have increased the hips a little bit more. I just wanted this to fly by so I wouldn't be rambling here. I guess just go over this thing. There's certain. There's a lot of different options you can have by editing the box RC file, and this is one of them. I think this is the one that I have NetBSD on it. Um, or this, this one I have, if I uncomment, see that pound sign over the, to the left of ATA0 master? That means ignore, and so if I remove that pound sign, it'll use the netbsd.image image file I have in my home directory to boot that up. So long as I have this next one with the c.image on it commented out. I could ever there it is on this line those are two identical lines so um, this is just wrapping a versus heads equals 16 except that's just wrapping around if this paper was wider it would print all the way across yeah so now we're still 69 percent okay so the way box works is you got it, it it needs almost everything but there is you know if you use that that DOS type of uh, setup, you can set up a lot of this stuff without needing to know, you know, what you need to put in, how you have to space the words exactly for plug-in control, BIOS develop, you know, the ACPA. Do you want to use X Windows or not? That's display library. And then um, I'm not sure what a ROM or okay, the ROM image must be the simulated BIOS and the uh, then the VGA ROM image is a simulated graphical BIOS notice my boot order there is CD-ROM first disk second I have no floppies so far and I haven't configured any and then um, these are just the the ways I've set up the ATAs these Right. Then, if I wanted to have um, a serial port to print files, I you could actually print files out of this. You can create PostScript files if you enabled the PAR port, COM port. You can actually do a modem. I think if, if I had a serial port on the back, I could do that. Do I have? these types of US there's two different types of USB thing I, I'm not sure what that is um, it's still 79 percent that's it and I have mouse enabled equals zero if I change that to one then I'll be able to use my mouse in this little emulated environment notice now it's got it X'd out now, if I unexed it, it would probably start to work, but then good luck with me being able to get out of this little box here, which is part of what the problem is. And I'm like, God, why is this taking so long? I don't think I can up the, the ips on the fly, could I? I don't want to mess with it. I don't think ReactOS has that many files. 
I think React OS, if, if if your hardware works, once you boot in, you're gonna have a graph you're gonna have a an X window. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. That should work without issue. Whereas you might have an issue with your X window trying to install Linux. Unless the distro uses VESA, keeps VESA working all the way. Or maybe they have to, the distro has to actually put the driver in there to get it to work right. God, it's still 12%. This can take 10 minutes. I mean, this should be quicker. I could double the ips and be done already, but just want to see how this thing runs. At least you can see it. You know, if it's too fast, then forget it. Now, when you're making these videos, one way to judge how for if you're using the same settings I am. This now is 30. Now I gotta re look at that. Reload. Right, so I've been on for about 12 minutes. I, I you know, I, I, so I'm probably gonna stop now and then come back. Because anyway, it's, it's kind of drab right now, anyway.